Hi, this is Siva Govindasamy at the Royal Australian Air Force Base at Amberley. We are here to talk to the participants at Project Wedgetail, Australia's Airborne Early Warning Aircraft Capability Program. And we'll be talking to them and asking them how this program is on track and on schedule to meet the requirements of the Australian Air Force. Okay, we actually built four in Australia. The first one is down at Williamtown now with the customer um, waiting to be accepted. Uh, the second one is, is all but there, it'll be delivered in the next couple of months. Uh, the third one was actually the first one we built, um, it went back to the test program in Seattle. Uh, returned to Australia where we then proceeded to tear it apart and um, incorporate engineering changes within it. Um, it'll be delivered later on this year and the fourth one will be delivered in the first quarter of 2011. So. Um, the Westdale program has obviously seen, and there's been a lot of interest in it. Where do you see you guys going with uh, the program? Uh, as a, how challenging has it been for you guys to start on this project, which has been very challenging, and now you've come to almost the end of it. You know, you've finally seen the product. How has it been, feel for you guys? It, it's been a long road, but it's been a good road. It's, as you said, it's, we've faced a lot of challenges. Um, but I'm sure that once these aircraft are uh, sold to the customer and other, other countries see the potential and the capability of this aircraft and the platform, um, that other countries will take advantage of that and we'll see significant AWAC aircraft uh, throughout the world in the, in the, in the coming future. Um, it has been a very challenging program. It's been an interesting program as well. Talk us through it. What's, what have you done with the aircraft? How challenging has it been to rip it up, uh, rip a greenfield aircraft up and put in all the modification? It's had its challenges all right from the start, but uh, basically we've taken four 737 green aircraft um, in Australia, um, put them back to a bare shell and made significant structural modifications on them. Um, it's incorporated about 30,000 hours worth of work, uh, which included uh, removing section 46, uh, also uh, an area over the cockpit uh, we removed, and significant structural changes. Uh, it's the largest modification ever undertaken in, in Australasia um, to an aircraft. So of course, you know, the, we, the guys here didn't, hadn't had that experience before on such a large, large magnitude. Um, but through great quality control, working closely with the customer, being Boeing Seattle, and also listening to the Commonwealth of Australia who are here on site, and listening to what, they're going, listening to what they say and incorporating um, customer satisfaction into our product, we, it allowed us to get to the end of the product um, with minimal rectifications required um, and engineering uh, changes as such.